Welcome back everyone. It is 546 time for traffic and weather together with meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Good Friday morning, Shay. It is Good Friday. People will be celebrating Easter this weekend, uh, hopefully practicing social distancing. Yes, and staying home, but yes. it will be perfect if you're staying at home and you want an outdoor uh, barbecue. It's going to be really nice, tons of sunshine, and will also be dry, but we have to get through some rain, some cooler temperatures, and even some high elevation snow, and potentially some isolated thunderstorms too. But at least today will be nice, mostly sunny, a little bit breezy at times this afternoon, but at least we'll have the tons of sunshine temperatures back in the city. 60s and 70s, but tomorrow that'll be our most active day. Showers will increase from west to east. Do expect those uh, widespread showers, isolated thunderstorms, and even mountain snow, especially above 6,500 feet. We're only expecting a few inches, so there's no winter weather advisories or anything like that, but uh, you'll still see some big impacts like slick and slushy roads, low visibility, so just be sure to keep that in mind if you do live in those higher elevations. Today's high is pretty nice. We're going to be in the low to mid 70s, even upper 70s in some isolated spots. Overnight lows tonight, pretty much more of the same. If you step outside this morning and think it's cold, you'll think the same thing about tomorrow. Mostly sunny and breezy today. West southwest wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, so some afternoon breezes can be expected. Areas to the south and east, not a big warm up, but it'll still be pretty nice. Mid to upper 60s and low 70s with overnight lows back in the 30s and 40s. Also a little bit more breezy for our friends in uh, Cochise County and Santa Cruz County with uh, a wind of around 10 to 20 miles per hour for today. Looking at where that area of low pressure is, if you've been tuning in the last couple of days, you know that this has been a slow mover. It's just been kind of hanging out to the west of Arizona, bringing some showers to westernmost parts of the state, and that's where it's actually going to stay for today. But that area of low pressure is expected to track right through southeastern Arizona tomorrow, and that's why we're going to see showers increase from west to east. So let's go ahead and take you through your future cast. We'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. That's just going to kind of spin around uh, uh, to the west of us for today. But as you can see, by 11 p.m. tonight, showers will begin to move into our far westernmost counties, like western Pima County, for example, towards Ajo. So the rest of us are staying dry today. So at least we have a nice day up ahead. Fast forwarding this, though, through Saturday morning, you can see showers will continue to increase from west to east. And no Notice those big orange red spots. That's the potential thunderstorms I've been talking about. Those will produce some heavy rainfall, potentially a little bit of hail, but uh, the bigger impact will definitely be that lightning. So if you hear thunder, it's time to go inside. More activity like this can be expected through the afternoon, so we'll catch some dry time in between, but definitely expect some showers for tomorrow. Looking at how much rainfall we could pick up, not a whole lot, around a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. It does look like the higher totals will be to the south and west of Tucson, with up to about of a quarter of an inch possible. And then towards the east, smaller amounts, only a few hundredths of an inch expected for places like Safford, Wilcox and Douglas. Looking ahead at your seven day forecast now, upper 60s for your Saturday, so it will be pretty chilly tomorrow. Areas to the south and east only in the 50s, but then come Easter Sunday, gorgeous mid 70s, tons of sun, a little bit breezy early next week with only a 10% chance for rain and then we'll be warm again mid 80s by next Thursday.